Our team coverage continues now with Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey, who's in studio after speaking with folks ahead of the stormy weather. Olivia. Matt, I caught up with people before this afternoon's storm left hundreds in our region without power. On Saturday evening, people in Western Mass took advantage of the nice weather and headed to Zop Park in Chicopee to enjoy it. This is my son. I picked him up so we could come to the park. It's yeah. really nice out. We brought our, the dog out today, so it was yeah. nice. The nice weather was put to a halt when dark clouds rolled through our area as captured here on our Monarch Place Skycam, bringing rain, heavy winds, and lightning. People we spoke with earlier in the day had mixed thoughts on the April showers. We definitely need like rain because uh, that brings flowers and stuff, so it's about that time of the year. I'm excited. I like storms. I really do. I get a charge out of them. I like lightning. Uh, I like seeing the, the wind. Um, it's just a way of life, you know? Some people, like Kelly Kiltonic, were just hoping to avoid another power outage, like the ones we saw with a recent winter storm. We lost um, TV, Wi Fi, phone for three days. It does affect the whole family, especially for teenagers. And offers this advice You just have to be careful of being underneath the trees because we've had trees come down you know, on our wires and we lost electricity for a couple days, so you have to be careful. With on your screen right now, we have a look at the Eversource power map. Springfield is seeing minimal power outages at this time, but Pittsfield has a few hundred customers out. When we spoke with Eversource earlier today, they told Western Mass News they were monitoring the weather and had crews on standby ready to go. Reporting in studio, Olivia Hickey for Western Mass News.